you are a creator in Web2, well, to be honest, you have been getting ripped off. Content creators on platforms like YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok have received the short end of the stick for far too long. And even if you don't consider yourself a creator and are just a casual user of Web2, this applies to you as well. In Web3, there are a number of ways to get what you deserve and to better monetize your content creation. And one of the best ways to do so is with social tokens. In this video, we'll discuss what social tokens are, why they are so important to the creator economy, some real world use cases already taking place, and finally, the future of social tokens and Web3 as a whole. Make sure to stick around until the end of the video to figure out how you can easily monetize the content you share online. Social tokens, also known as creator coins, are a new type of asset class that is tied to the reputation of an individual rather than to a company or commodity. Content creators are able to use these coins in two ways. First is to build and reward their audience and true fans. Second is to compensate themselves for their content creation. We'll talk about this in more detail in just a second, but to understand why social tokens are so groundbreaking, you first need to understand the monetization issues that are present in the Web2 creator economy. In Web2, it is incredibly difficult to capture value directly from your audience. This is because Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, TikTok, and all of these Web2 platforms are reliant on advertising and they act as a middleman between the creator and their audience. Luckily, thanks to Web3 and the power of the blockchain, creators can now cut out the middleman and interact directly with their fan base. The natural question to ask after understanding what social tokens are is why would anyone use them or why are they necessary? Well, as pointed out in this great article from The Generalist, which I'll link down below, there are five core reasons to tokenize. First is to raise money. Second is to create an investor base. Third is to attract attention. Fourth is to align incentives within a group. And fifth is to better capture value. The first point is the most obvious to understand. Utilizing social tokens allows a creator to have their own personal funding round. It would be difficult for creators to raise traditional or conventional funding such as venture capital. So social tokens are the easiest way to raise money for content creation. The use of social tokens also creates an investor base. There is a big difference between a fan and an investor, and that difference is skin in the game. Lee Jin, the co-founder of Variant Fund and a thought leader in the creator economy, believes creators only need 100 true fans to make a comfortable living. And if you are able to get 100 people to invest into your social token, chances are they will be a diehard fan that will support a creator's journey considering now they have a financial incentive to do so. And social tokens are such a unique asset that they naturally draw attention. As a creator, you are constantly trying to draw attention to your work and you Utilizing social tokens is a great way to do so. Similar to creating an investor base, creator coins align incentives around desirable activities. If you are trying to build a social club or community centered around a social token, this point is crucial. And we'll talk more about this a little later in the video. And the final core reason to tokenize is social tokens are better than traditional methods at capturing value. Social tokens offer more dynamic opportunities for creators to monetize their work and give back to their investors compared to say membership subscriptions to private communities for a flat rate in USD. And there's no better way to show why social tokens are so valuable than with some real world examples. But first, make sure you hit that like button down below and subscribe to the channel to help spread the word about the power of Web3. While social tokens may seem like a novel concept, creators have been attempting to directly monetize their work for quite some time now. Back in 1997, David Bowie came up with the idea for Bowie Books. Bowie struck a licensing deal with EMI for his back catalog, giving the group the rights to release 25 of his albums, as well as unreleased studio and live recordings from between 1969 and 1990. He was guaranteed more than 25% of the royalties from wholesale sales in the US. Those rights were then securitized and turned into $55 million worth of Bowie bonds, offering a 7.9% annual interest rate. And the bonds were self-liquidating, meaning the principal declined each year. Bowie bonds were like the OG social tokens. And one of the first people to tokenize themselves was Alex Mazmej with the Alex token. Alex was able to raise $20,000 through his token launch, which was described as a blend between a small income sharing agreement and a human IPO. Token holders would be entitled to 15% of all his income over the next three years, capped at $100,000. 
Now comment down below and let me know if a human IPO is too extreme. I'd be really curious to hear what you have to say. But regardless, these examples do show you what's possible with creator coins. And social tokens don't have to be limited to just individual creators. As I mentioned earlier in this video, there are entire communities that are powered by social tokens. Friends with Benefits is a community and DAO with over 3,000 engaged members focused on bringing collective culture and technology together. And it is all powered by the FWB token. Members must hold at least 75 FWB tokens to get access to the Discord, as well as virtual and in real life events. These individuals and communities have had a real impact. And because of this, we've seen Web2 platforms trying to catch up by introducing NFTs and other crypto related products, but they are way behind the curve compared to the Web3 native projects. And DSO is leading the way when it comes to empowering creators. Diamond is an application that runs on the DSO blockchain and actually incorporates creator coins with your DSO account. So when you sign up for Diamond, which is like the Web3 version of Twitter, you automatically create a social token. These followers can buy your creator coins and invest in your potential success. And as you grow as a creator and your content improves, your creator coin could potentially rise in value, which would reward yourself and your true fans that invested in your success. And the best part is that creating an account on Diamond is super easy and takes just a couple clicks of the button so you can have your own creator coin launched in a matter of minutes. And if you're looking to build a community that is powered by social tokens, then look no further than DowDow, which is a Web3 social platform that allows you to create a DAO and makes it as easy as setting up a social media profile. DowDow really opens up the world for what is possible for creators or anyone trying to build a community that is centered around social tokens. Make sure to check out this video right here to learn more about how creators can use DowDow in order to make a living doing what they love. We are just in the beginning stages of the Web3 creator economy and can only imagine what is possible with creator coins. Imagine a future where top content creators utilize social tokens so you can support your favorite creators and receive financial rewards in return. Or even imagine a creator ETF where you can diversify your investments into the most successful artists, writers, musicians, and influencers in the space. The sky is truly the limit for the future of the Web3 creator economy, and DSO is leading the way to make that future successful for creators and their audiences alike. And I encourage you to head over to diamondapp.com and sign up for an account and launch your creator coin today. I'll leave a link down below in the description.